Wow. So apparently, uh, if you get into a battle, like, right at, like, the transition point, it won't actually trigger. Forest, please. Wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. Hey, everyone. I'm Captain Forest Falcon. Welcome back to Undertale. So, uh, last time, uh... We got welcomed into Toriel's home and asked to say, stay, and we kind of inquired about the possibility of going further, which she kind of made a big deal about it, and we ended up having a fight. And now, basically, we have a one-way route to leave into the rest of the underground, and that's and we said goodbye to Toriel. So, yeah, that's basically it. We're another long hallway. Another long hallway. Really long hallway. Super long hallway. I'm always watching for you, Flowey. You know that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Flowey isn't behind us because he decided to wait ahead for us this time. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. Uh, probably not. I've, if you haven't been paying attention, Floy, I kind of have a really strong resistance to getting tired of trying things. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Okay, cool. Anyway, nice seeing you, Flowey. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye out for you in the future. You and your little ducking down animation. Or even better yet. Uh, we are now taking over this new land. I am now... I am now Flowey. This is my new home. Sorry, Flowey. You duck into the ground, you lose the spot. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is mine now. This is the rest of the the rest of the playthrough. We'll just be standing in this spot, uh, waiting for the next child to come along. Uh, just kidding. Okay. And now, dramatic fade to white. Welcome to Undertale. So that was all just like basically the uh, intro sort of thing by Toby Fox. And now we have a six-minute uh, intro cutscene. And. Nope. Okay, time to go back. Hey, let me... There's a camera hidden in the bushes. How dare you invade my privacy. Anyway, let me... Let me through the door. Let me through it. Let me interact with it. Fine. Fine. I guess we will just have to leave that. do 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 what wow that looks super weird running back right at that moment it like usually it looks like they're just walking that time it looked like they were just sprinting through okay ominous ominous sounds you don't have to keep going at it Oh no, this... How can we get through this? Look at those... The way it forward is barred. We can't go through that. Guess we'll just have to turn around. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Oh, it's the, it's the worst nightmare I could possibly imagine. Interacting with people. A fate worse than death. And... 
Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Thanks for that. <laughs> Imagine if I just voice acted all of his lines just as. <laughs> you old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're human, right? That's hilarious! I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the skate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anybody. Really? I couldn't tell. Wow, it's, it's such an amazing illusion. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Okay, it's almost like it was made for me. I was born to be this lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. I like this guy. <sighs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got in a ton of work done today. A skeleton? Hey, am I right, everyone? Sans, stop breaking the fourth wall. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Ugh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Oh, I'm two for two, baby. <laughs> Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Oh, 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 I am an absolute genius. Ten times better than any of your joke sounds. <laughs> Here. It's always important to get the last laugh in. <laughs> uh, okay, you can come out now. Okay, uh... <laughs> Gosh, I love it here. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Okay, can we, can we just do that? Can we just have a, a Sans comedy night? What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. I love it. It sounds... Well, you ought to get going. He might come back. Okay, so... Okay, okay. I was actually surprised he said that much more there. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Unfortunately, outside the cutscene, cut you will never feel that same feeling of it being such a perfect fit for you ever again. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Hot dog stand! Oh, or even better, I could go... Oh, if only the door back there wasn't shut, I could go in there, steal the water sausages, and sell them as hot dogs. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but uh, can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Okay. Okay, you do that. Oh, I really do love this song. I feel like it's just... 
It's that perfect, like, winter song, and it also... F it's just so simple and so quiet. It feels like it's just, like, you know, echoing... It feels like it captures both winter and also, like, a cavern. Like, the way the piano is just kind of, like, going back and forth between the notes, it kind of gives off that feeling of, like, if there was water dripping down in a cavern. And it feels like it would echo through just a, this huge cavern area. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Okay, we have reached Snowden Box Road. The exciting, one of the most exciting thing. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? No. We hate boxes. Fine. So it's got this tough glove inside. Uh, so all that monster candy, yeah, let's just store it away. And also our spider donut and spider cider. And our butter, butter scotch pie. In fact, we'll, we'll store everything except like the bandage and the stick. Maybe I should even store the bandage. And just like that, we've cleared up our inventory. Oh, it's snow drink. So we could run away, but that would do nothing. Let's check him out. Snow Drake, attack 7, 12, defense 7. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Macaroni and freeze! Boo! Boo! Get off the stage! Boo! You tell the Snow Drake that they aren't funny. Is your flesh rotten as you? Well, that, that wasn't very nice. I'm very offended. Heckle him some more. You boo the snow drink. <laughs> and I wonder, can can constantly heckling cause anything? You, oh, gosh. Sheesh, I didn't know that it would ever be that way. <laughs> okay, I feel bad about that one. You tell the snow drink that no one will ever love them the way they are? They struggle to make a retort and slink away utterly crushed. That is the worst that is the worst way to end the fight imaginable. <laughs> like he just dropped his buddy and then just walked off depressed. Is that the only time we'll fight him? I feel really bad cuz we basically just ruined just made his life more miserable. I feel bad about that. That's like <laughs> The fishing rug affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Nah, you leave it alone. Actually, yes, let's reel it in. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decided not to call. You send the line back out. Okay, so. But what if I want to call? Nobody picked up. Great, we've got this phone and we can't... can't call anyone. Okay, Snowdrake, are you still around? I'm sorry. Oh, it's Ice Cap. Attack 11, Defense 4. This teen wonders why it isn't named Ice Hat. Where's your hat? Oh, cool, cool. Got a dodge through the wave formation. It's snowing dandruff. Careful not to breathe all that dandruff in. Can I? S I want. I want the hat. Give it to me. You tried to sne steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Help! Fashion police. Hey. Well, I mean, I guess kind of have it coming. I did just try and rob him. Here comes that new clothes smell. Let's compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Okay. Fine, we'll ignore you. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Eh, I don't care. I don't care about your hat. He's secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. We'll continue to ignore. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine, I don't care. Okay, so he's upset about us not looking at it. He's desperate for attention. 
Okay, let, okay, tell you what, let's give you some attention. You inform him that it has a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? So does that ruin my spare opportunity doing that? No, no it doesn't. If I keep ignoring... Okay, it's just... Okay, I'll ignore you too! Okay, in that case... Steal it! You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, and succeeded! It melts in your hands! What can I say? Ice Cap is no more. You inform Ice Cap that it still looks fine. Huh. Hats are for posers. Ice doesn't mind its identity. Okay, I feel better about complimenting him after stealing the hat. If anything, I think it's better this way. Oh, can we check? What does Ice have to say? Attack is one, defense is zero. Without its cap. I wanted you to see me as cool. He doesn't mind its identity. Okay, let's spare you. You won! You earned zero experience and 35 gold. Okay, the gold really has increased a lot now going in here. Okay, Snowdrake is... Okay, I was afraid that maybe I'd heckled him uh, to uh, be upset. <laughs> you make a bad ice pun. Ha, <laughs> ha, nice try. Let's see, how far can we... Let's be nice. Uh, let's wait. It smells like a wet pillow. Okay, let's just check him out. Ice puns are snow problem. There, it's important that you make sure they make the joke first. What does he say? He's assessing the crowd. So now you laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Yeah, I, I felt really bad about that whole, uh, he's pleased with its cool joke. So, if we laugh again, uh, he won't have made a joke, so let's see if he'll keep making jokes. Chill out! Okay, I've, I've got to really be careful to dodge now, because I kind of lost a lot of health. So let's laugh again. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun! Thanks! You're all great! Okay, it's safe spot. Better not snowflake out. Okay, I've got to live through this performance. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. Okay, cool. Okay, I think that's as far as we can get. I don't think anything else is changing. Okay, we survived his performance. We get 10, 12 gold for that. Okay, so that's two of the monsters done. It's more. So, as I was saying about Undyne. What is it? 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 <laughs> okay, I couldn't keep up. Sans! Oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Ow. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Um, it looks like a, it looks like a snowy path. Unfortunately, not a human. Oh my God! Is is that a human? Yes. Oh my God! Sans, I finally did it. Undying will. I'm I'm gonna. I'll be so. Popular! 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 Ahem. Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then! Then! Uh, I'm not sure what's next. In any case! Continue only if you dare! <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Hey, 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 Sans, you went the wrong way. The way forward is this way. <laughs> Silly, Sans. Oh, Ice Cap, you're, you're back. 
Or are you a different ice cap? We shall steal all the ice caps hats. But I do want to compliment him. There. It's always important. E e even if you're going to uh, steal uh, their identity, you got to make sure they're okay with their new one. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a very royal guardsman. Uh, okay, there is no, it's not see-through in the back, so nothing there. Okay, so complimenting him does nothing. Okay. Absolutely no moving. And then we proceed to wait here for three minutes without moving. I, I somehow doubt that there would actually be a secret if I just stood here not moving for long enough. Okay, I think that's enough not moving for now. Honestly, you probably wouldn't be able to tell if I'd been not moving here for two minutes or an hour. It doesn't, it makes no difference, I assume. Uh, did something move? Uh, was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Something was moving, for example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks away. Gotta check him out. Doggo. Attack 13. Defense 7. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include... Squirrels! Oh, he's just like my brother's dogs. <laughs> just constant patrolling for squirrels. Don't move an inch. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Yeah, so the whole mechanic the game is teaching you is that any sort of attack that is blue is kind of just... Don't move and you'll be fine. <laughs> That's the entire mechanic of this particular battle. I can't seem to find anything. So now we can pet him. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! Pat, pat, pet, pat, pat, pet, pat, pat, pot, pet. Doggo has been pet. Keep petting. You pet Doggo. Where's that coming from? Pet, pot, pat, pot, pot, pet, pat, pat, pat. <laughs> He's been pet. Pet him again. There's no end to it. Pot, pat, pet, pot, 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 pat, pat, pot, pot. <laughs> How many can we do? You pet doggo. Well, this is thorough. <laughs> pat, 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 pot, pat, pet, pot. <laughs> Gotta keep petting. You pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. Wow, I never thought I'd see a dog that got that had gotten enough pets. More! You pet doggo! No, that's it. That's it. No more excitement for the pets. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll spare you. Spare you excessive petting. You won! You earned 0 and 30 gold. Something pet me? Something that isn't moving? I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Hello? Is anybody there? No? Okay, he, he's just gonna hang out. Someone's been smoking dog treats. Yeah, but... Like I said, this is why I always try and check as much as I can do. Got some ice to dance on. Hey, there's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Okay, got it. I'll think about yellow stop signs. Thank you, that was very helpful, Sans. Remember, yellow stop signs. Green stop signs, got it. Or was it purple? Purple's a dice color. North ice, south ice, west ice. East, Snowden Town. And ice. Yeah, and... 
Lesser Dog appears! Oh my gosh, it's Lesser Dog! Yeah, yeah, th th this should sum everything up right here. Lesser Dog, attack 12, defense 2, wields a stone dogger made of pomegranate. <sighs> oh my gosh, he's the best! He's the best boy! <laughs> Lesser Dog cocks its head to one side. Uh, spare him. Tiny Bark! Oh, right. It's that one there. Smells like dog chow. Okay, okay. Wait, no, I just remembered. Stick! You threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. <laughs> this is why this game is great. This is why you keep the stick. This is 100% of the reason why you keep the stick. He's barking excitedly. Let's keep playing fetch, boy. You threw the stick and the dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. Oh, it came the wrong way. And we can spare him now, but who who wants to do that? Uh, so I think um, I have to pet him to get him to interact more. You pet the dog. It raises its head up to meet your hand. Pant pant. Does the little jumps. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. We're going to be here for a while. You pet the dog. It was a good dog. Yeah, who's a good dog? Excited noises. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. Almost, I almost got hit. Lesser dog is overstimulated. So you know what that means. More petting. You pet the dog. Its excitement knows no bounds. Excited noises. <laughs> Will you still fetch? The dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. Okay, so I think only petting will make it get even more excited, which is what we will do. Critical pet! Dog excitement increased. Excited noises. More petting. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. Yeah, and then, okay. You know what we have to do. You don't even pet it. It gets more excited. Plane takeoff. There is no way to stop this madness. Kettle whistle. Lesser dog enters the realm of the clouds. Lesser dog shows no signs of stopping. Will he still fetch? Yeah, he will still fetch. Okay, gotta pet more. You call the dog, but it is too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. Oh. Dot dot dot. More pets. You can reach lesser dog again. Bark. Lesser Dog shows no signs of stopping. You pet Lesser Dog. <sighs> yeah, no, he's lowering now. You pet Lesser Dog. Lesser Dog is continuing to lower. Lesser Dog is lowering. You pet Lesser Dog. Important, keep petting. You pet Lesser Dog more. He's now entered the text box. <laughs> It's possible that you may have a problem. Hey, hey, you're, you're an enabler. You're the one who puts all this stuff for me to do and keep doing. All you have, you have to do is put a limit. <laughs> so you've got a problem and you're just enabling my problem. <laughs> you're a problem enabler. He's continuing to lower. Okay. Can we still play fetch? Yet yeah, he will still play fetch. I love how fast the tail is going at this point. It's just like a constant beat right there. Like seriously, just put a couple of drums there and you would get a, an amazing drum roll going. Got a pet, got a pet. Oh yeah, and uh, this could actually go on for a while. We still have to, uh... <laughs> we have to go into the text box and below. Before this is over, and then even more. Okay, let's go, do do do. Buster Dog is learning to read! <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. He's a good boy. Good boy. He's impeddable but appreciates the, the attempt. 
I think I missed the uh, learning to read one because, you know, you, you end up going so fast through here. Good boy. He's whining because it can't see you. Aw, poor boy. Have some more pets. He's impedible, but he wants more attempts. We need to make sure he gets through. We have to break the limits of petting. Must pet. Must pet. He's there! He's there! I can see him! He's made it through! He's about to break through! I can see him! He's peeking out! Look at him! Hello there! <laughs> Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. You say that, but I disagree. It continues. It continues, and my computer is about to run out of batteries. I need to hurry. It continues. Unless your dog is lowering. It continues. Unless your dog is lowering. Continues. Gotta go faster. It continues. It continues. Faster. It continues. He's questioning your choices. I think he's now outside the room. He's gone where no dog has gone before. He is beyond your reach. Okay, time to spare. You won and got so much gold, it's ridiculous. Okay, uh, I need to hurry. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I'm going to save, and then we'll continue from where I left off. So thank you all so much for watching. May you soar like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.